What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Joe Drill. I'm out here. This is like my fifth day with the, uh, the Walnut Spectra X. It's a okay little skateboard. You know, every skateboard, just like different cars, got their own little uh, vibe, you know? And um, this skateboard has some pros and it got some cons. You know what I mean? Um, this is the sensor board where you could just step on it and, you know, you lean forward, it goes forward, lean back, it goes back. So you can go in two directions with this. Um, it also, you can use your cell phone, the app, and use that as a remote, and it comes with a remote. Um, you know, one of them little cheaper remotes, but, you know. Anyway, I've been having problems after the, the first five days with the other remote, the remote it came with. The, applicate, the app remote is pretty good, you know what I'm saying? You gotta connect your board with the app first, and then it, uh, it has a feature in there where you can, uh, you know, just uh, use that as the remote. But I like the sensor board. That's the reason why I got this skateboard was because I like the hands-free stuff, you know, um, no remote at all, you know. This particular one, that's the good feature about this. It has three different ways you can control this board. Now, as you see, I threw my own lights on there. Um, just sort of light up at night. People see me coming, you know, so I don't get um, hit by a car or nothing. But as you see, it's lit. And um, it's a smooth ride for the most part. I'm gonna tell you the sensor part where you step on it in the sensor thing. Um, it, you know, it goes a certain speed, you know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna tell you another thing. I've worked with a lot of electric skateboards in the last two years, and this particular board, I don't know, gives me a little bit of the jitters. I usually don't get the jitters on any of these boards. It's not it's not as smooth riding. One, one thing, you know, in the trucks, you know, it don't got that rubber cushioning for the shock absorbing. And I'm constantly always worried about running over one of these little pebbles and being thrown off the board, because it's such a, small boards you can't really uh you know brace yourself with your feet like you know and i'm kind of a tall dude but um another thing i noticed about this board it uh now i know why they give you an extra battery pack you know what i'm saying because the batteries do not last long um i think out of all the electric skateboards that i ever had this might be one of the skateboards that you know the battery doesn't last, bro. You don't you don't go too far, you know what I mean? But, you know, with an extra one, I guess that doubles that. Um, also, you know what I'm saying? This ain't really a racer board, man. You ain't supposed to be out here trying to race other skateboarders or bicyclists or nothing like that. This is a cruiser board to get you from point A to point B, man. And um, I think it works pretty good for that purpose alone. I, I wouldn't, I have other boards. I have the Evolve. You know what I'm saying? I have a Spadger. I got other boards, the, the up, the one up, you know what I'm saying? And those are racer boards, you know what I'm saying? You get on the, you get on the, you know, race other skateboarders and all this and that. I also have the Hover Cruise, which does kind of like what this skateboard does, um, except, you know, you don't need a remote at all. Or you, well, they didn't come with a remote at all. Just got a sensor for your feet where you can, um, you know, uh, power the board with your feet, you know, move it with your feet. So that's what I liked about this board. And um, this is my fifth day review of it. I think it's an all right board. It's not a bad board at all. It just, it's not, it's not no racer, man. People expect you to go fast on it and all this and that. And it got a real futuristic look to it. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people like that, but it's, it's not good. Sometimes the, uh, I'm gonna tell you straight up and down, the uh, the sensor, sometimes it seems like it's hard to operate that. Like you'll be out here trying, you'll be stepping on it hard and sometimes it seems like it moves slow, but then sometimes you catch up in momentum and it'll, it'll move fast. You know what I'm saying? So that's my first five days on this skateboard and uh, 
you know, it's not a terrible skateboard, man. And I really do think it is probably worth what I paid, which is almost, with a, I think about $600. I think it's worth that because if you got to get to the post office quick or you going around town quick, somewhere local, this is excellent. Now I'm just trying to see if this, uh, if this skateboard got longevity, you know what I'm saying? If, if it's gonna break down in the next two, three months or something like that, you know? I don't even use it that much, you know? But every day I try to come out a little something and uh, just try it out. But anyway, um, that's my review of the first five days with the uh, Spectra X. I'll tell you one thing, me personally, I think Spectra X Walnut, I think they're onto something. The hands-free is the way to be. I know a lot of people are still scared to get on these. You know what I'm saying? Um, you really have to have decent balance. And, uh, you know, that's my review for now, man. Joe's real, you know what I'm saying? All right, y'all, peace.